Hey there guys, it's Tina and I am back and thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video which is going to be all about the recent lip launches from Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, namely the Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipsticks and of course the Lip Stunner Liquid Lipstick in the shade Uncensored. So we're going to do swatches and we're going to talk all about these products and I think I want to do the swatches first. This way you can see me apply them to my lips. I'm going to give you an up close shot as well and I'm going to talk you through how they apply to the lips and the shade description. So let's just go ahead and jump right into that. So of course we're starting off with the Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipsticks and I got quite a few shades to try out and test out this formula and we're going to start out with Single which is a blushing nude. The shade Single is a beautiful peachy terracotta nude shade. It does take a little bit of building up especially if you have pigmented lips it's going to need a little bit more to get full opacity but it's very creamy and it's a very nice shade on deeper skin tone because it has that warm peachy undertone. Next is Yadig which is described as a periwinkle blue. Yadig is a beautiful blue based lavender and it's a very interesting color. It layers up pretty decently but you're going to see some sheer spots if you do have more pigmented lips. It is a very light color so that's expected. It's definitely a fun color. I would definitely need to layer it with something else, probably add a darker liner, maybe a gloss to make it a little bit more wearable but it's a color that I could really get into. This is Candy Venom, which is an electric pink. Candy Venom is a beautiful deep fuchsia shade, but it still has a vivid brightness to it that really brightens the skin. I love it on my skin tone. I think it will look great on darker skin as well because it has some depth to it. It's not just a neon fuchsia shade. It's a very flattering color and I think a lot of people will enjoy this. It's a little bit different than the regular red shade and it gives a punch of color to the lips. Next we have Freckle Fiesta which is a Spice Terracotta. Freckle Fiesta has got to be one of my favorite shades from the entire collection. It's a deep terracotta orange shade that leans on the brown side so it's not too intense and in your face as some orange shades can be and I think it's very flattering on deeper skin tone. And the pigmentation on this one is great. It layers up so beautifully and I just love that it's an orange shade that looks a little bit more wearable and a little bit more subtle. There's a brighter orange shade in the collection called Saucy that I like as well but it's a little bit too orange for me and I feel like Freckle Fiesta is more wearable and I love love this color. This shade is Madame which is a royal red. Madame has got to be one of my favorite red shades that I've ever tried. It is such a beautiful blue based red and it still has this vivid brightness to it that's very interesting. This shade looks great on a variety of skin tones and it looks really good on darker skin tone too because it has that depth to it but it's still so vivid and it makes your teeth look super white. And I really love these deeper blue toned reds on my skin tone. So I think this one is definitely a winner and the pigmentation on this is spot on. It's really great in one swipe. It layers up perfectly. Here we have Shawty, which is a warm chestnut. The shade Shawty is a beautiful chocolatey brown with a little bit of warm orangey undertone. I love this color as well. It's such a perfect brown on me. I've been searching my whole life for a brown that looks like this and I think I found it and I'm so happy with the pigmentation on this. It layers up so beautifully. It covers all the darkness that I have in my natural lip color and it's so comfortable. It's so gorgeous. I love, love, love this one. Highly recommend it if you were looking for a warm tone chocolatey shade. PMS is a moody brown. Now we have PMS which is a deep, deep coffee brown. This one has a little bit more of a red undertone to it. It's really gorgeous as well and I love the pigmentation. It doesn't skip at all. It layers up really nicely. There's no patchiness and it's such a great dark brown color. So if you wanted something really vampy that's not quite like a deep purple or a deep berry, this is a great option. I love deep coffee shades like this. It looks so great paired with a simple eye look, some lashes. It gives you just this really sophisticated look to the lips without going overboard and looking too goth. So I love this shade. Then we have Griselda, a bold burgundy. The last shade up is Griselda, which is a really beautiful deep wine shade. This is a gorgeous shade. It definitely is more of a vampy deep cranberry 
and I love it. It's really gorgeous. It layers up pretty nicely, but I think you have to go back in with a couple of layers of this particular shade because it can show your natural lip color through it. It's not necessarily patchy, it's just that you have to go over with a couple of layers to really get full opacity, but really beautiful shade again and it really gives a sophisticated look to the lips so i really love this shade as well all right guys so now that you have seen the swatches let's go ahead and jump into what i like to call my five p's and the first one up is the price the matte Mazelle lipsticks these are the plush matte lipsticks these retail for 18 dollars and these contain 0 0.06 ounce of product or 1.7 gram which is not a lot of product at all now this little tube can be deceiving it looks like you get a decent amount of product and if you grab just the regular lipstick i'll use mac for reference it looks like the same amount of product but this is a slimline lipstick so you're actually getting 40 percent less product in this than you do in a mac lipstick this contains three grams of product or 0.1 ounce which is 40 percent more than the Rihanna lipsticks and the MAC lipsticks now retail for $17.50 so these are even more expensive for 40 percent less product I wanted to make sure that I mentioned the size of these lipsticks because for me it's a sticking point these are $18 which doesn't sound like a lot because it's much cheaper than a lot of the lipsticks we see out there on the market we have lipsticks that are priced in the high $20 range $30 range. We have Path McGraw lipsticks that are $38 a pop. Here's the kicker though. This guy contains four grams of product or 0.14 ounces, which means it's almost two and a half times the size of the Fenty Beauty lipstick. And price wise, even though this is $38, if you receive the same amount of product and you priced it per ounce, this guy would actually cost you $42. So for me, the size and the price doesn't quite correlate. I look at Rihanna's line as more a mid-range brand. I don't expect it to be that highly priced per ounce for their lipsticks. So something to bear in mind. Next up is the actual packaging. And I must say, I love how Rihanna does her boxes to match each of her products. I always love the packaging of the boxes. It's a matte black background with white lettering and it has beauty kind of smudged in chalkboard writing on it. On the top of each box, you will have a color coded label with the name of the lipstick and a lipstick color swatch. And then the actual lipstick tubes. Here's the other thing that was a stickler for me. The tubes are lightweight plastic with a metallic rose gold finish. Now, these are very lightweight. They feel kind of like throwaway packaging. They do not feel luxurious at all, which I was kind of expecting with the price point and with Rihanna being who she is. I expected them to be a little bit more heavy duty, a little bit more luxurious, but they aren't. Fenty Beauty is printed on the side and she has the typical hexagon shape. On the bottom you have a very tiny label with the product name and it's color coded as well which I thought was a good touch. I always like when lipsticks have the color of the lipstick on the label so if I store them upright I can tell which color I'm grabbing without having to open the tube. I like that. Now these are just snap fit caps so it just pulls off. There's no magnet that holds them together and it's a very beautiful again that millennial pink nude shade that she's used across all her packaging and again it's just a very cheap feeling packaging. It doesn't look cheap but it feels cheap. I think the packaging is definitely cute. It's streamlined. It's simple but I feel like it needed a little bit more weight to it, something to amp it up a bit for it to be worth the price that you pay for it. Now, as far as purchasing goes, you can find the Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipsticks online on Sephora.com. You can also find it on the Rihanna Fenty Beauty site. You can also find this at Harvey Nichols in Ireland and the United Kingdom. And they're, of course, available worldwide in different Sephora locations. The great thing about Rihanna's products is they launch online and in store simultaneously so you don't have to wait after an online launch for these to show up in store you can go shop for them same day which I appreciate with that 
I hate having to wait for a product to come in store. I like to go in and swatch products, see the different shades, see how they look on my skin tone to see if I'm interested in them. And I'm happy that these are automatically available in store on the same day that they are sold online. Now that we've gotten that all out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the product and the performance, which I think is the selling point for these lipsticks. We spoke about the price and that you don't get enough product and that the packaging feels lightweight and kind of cheap. It looks luxurious, but cheap. But the winning pro of this lipstick is the finish and the pigmentation. These are intensely pigmented, creamy, matte, lipsticks these are so comfortable to wear and i think matte lipsticks have come a far away they've come from being dry and just tugging on the lips to being creamy and comfortable with the pigmentation and the lasting power that you expect from a matte lipstick i feel like this is the most superior matte cream lipstick that i've ever tried out of all the brands that i've tried and i've tried many this for me was the best performing it is really pigmented in one swipe, what you expect from a matte lipstick. It glides on so it doesn't tug on the lips. It just glides over the lips because it's buttery and creamy, but it doesn't slip and slide around the lips like a traditional cream lipstick. It actually stays in place really well. It gives you full opacity, no skipping, no issues at all. You can get nice full color payoff without doing much work at all and these last really well. The longer you wear these, the more matte they become and they cling to the lips. Now, they don't necessarily stain. The darker colors and the red tones may stain a little bit more, but these stay on, and even through eating, they're gonna wear away, like at the center of my lips, they'll wear away, but you can layer them up. And it's not like layering a matte liquid lipstick. These make touch up a breeze. Like, you can just have this handy dandy in your purse, which is the one positive of the size of these and the weight of these. It's easy to travel with. Toss it in your purse and just, hey, I want to touch up and you go and that's it. And these are so comfortable. Like I absolutely have no complaints about the formulation, the texture, the wear time at all. Nothing to complain about. Now these aren't a liquid matte lipstick. They don't dry down. So you do expect transfer. If you drink, if you kiss, if you do whatever, it's gonna have transfer. That's just the name of the game. But the lasting power is still there for these. I don't feel like I need to touch these up until like six hours into wear or if I eat something and it wears away. The touch up is like minimal for these throughout the day. So now the one thing I have to warn you about with these lipsticks, they are soft. So they tend to want to smush around in the tube. They tend to want to break. So twist it up only as much as you need to apply to your lips because what's going to happen is this is going to smush against the tube and I've made quite a mess from just wearing these a couple of times. So be careful about that. That's one thing that I think is a drawback. But I think that's something I can sacrifice for the comfort level of the formula and the creamy texture. Overall though, for the Mademoiselle lipsticks, I do think they're actually worth checking out. Even though you don't get a ton of product, even though I think it's really overpriced for the amount that you get, and it has kind of cheap packaging, the product is worth checking out. If you can find a shade that you absolutely love, go for it because this will almost be a go-to lipstick for you because the texture is so great. The formula is so great. And I think if you can find a shade that you love, then it's definitely worth the price point. Do I think you should go out and break the bank and buy all the colors? No, because a lot of the colors are these funky, green, blue. I don't think anybody is going to walk around with those lipsticks. I know Rihanna can rock it, go for her, high five. But I got, no, I got things to do. And I love a bold, colorful lipstick, but I didn't feel like the colorful shades were up my alley. I did get the one funky shade to try out, which was a dig, and I actually think it was really well done. So if you wanted to try out like the fun shades, I definitely think they're worth a shot. As far as the Stunna Lip Paint in Uncensored, this is a beautiful red shade, and we're going to go into the swatch right now. Uncensored is such a beautiful universal red. I think Rihanna was right on the money with picking this shade of red. It's a beautiful blue-based red, but it has a lot of brightness to it. It's really vivid. On pale skin, it looks so beautiful and bright and vivid like a snow white red. And then on deeper skin tone, it also sings as well. It's like she hit it perfectly. And I love, love, love this color. 
it layers up so intensely in one coat it's ridiculous so you're not gonna have any issues getting full opacity from this shade at all you don't have to re-dip enough product is on the wand and the wand does allow you to get a really nice line because it has that flat edge so I think this guy is such a beautiful color. Now that you've seen how stunning that color is, let's go ahead and talk about the price. This guy's $24, okay? It contains 0.13 ounce of product or four milliliters, which is a high price point for the amount of product you get again. It puts it up there with the other high price liquid lipsticks out there. You know Kat Von D is like $21, and Kat Von D contains a lot more product than this. However, this is a beautiful color. The packaging of this guy is a lot better than the Mademoiselle lipsticks. This packaging is luxe. It feels like a glass, but I know it's hard plastic, but it looks like a nail polish bottle. It's kind of reminiscent of the Louis Vuitton nail varnishes with that stiletto design. It's a beautiful hexagon cone shape. The top is again that signature rose gold metallic finish. It's plastic though. This plastic feels very high-end. It feels like a glass bottle, and I love the aesthetic of this. It's just a beautiful design. And the best part of it is this applicator, which is different from any other applicator that I've tried out there on the market. The closest thing that comes to this applicator is from Julep. This is their plush matte creams. They have like a barbell shape applicator, but with the Fenty Beauty lip paint, it's still like an hourglass barbell shape, but it has a flat edge to it. And this works so well with the formulation. It's just, oh my God, they got this so right. Whoever designed this, whoever went through the development of this product, you are spot on. This is excellent. This liquid lipstick formula is superb. Again, I feel like Rihanna hit it out the park with this. Now, be careful because it is a very liquidy formula. It is very thin, it's very lightweight, and it applies like ink. That's exactly how I would describe it. This is like an ink pot. You know those fancy ink wells with the little felt pen? This is what this reminds me of. You wipe off as much as you can, and then you go in, and the flat edge allows you to line your lips beautifully, and the formula allows you to get a nice crisp line. It doesn't really flow over the lips, which I thought was interesting given how thin it is. And you don't need a lot. It is so opaque. A simple swipe will cover, like I could keep going. This covers so much area just from that little dip in the pot. And it keeps going. It doesn't thin out at all. There are no sheer spots. There are no patches. It's just phenomenal how it applies. And because it's so thin and lightweight, it's extremely comfortable. Like you feel like you're wearing nothing on your lips, but be mindful of that because it can fool you. You feel like you're wearing nothing. You're like, oh, what's going on? Hey, you walking around. And then you have red lipstick all over your face because it's not budge proof, it's not smudge proof. It will transfer if you touch your lips and I've run into issues where, you know, you barely move past your mouth and you touch it and I have red all over my hand, I'll have red on my nose, I'll have red on my chin. So just be careful with that. I think it's a little painstaking to have to monitor my lipstick. It was a little annoying. I wore this during the holidays and it annoyed me a little bit because I had to keep checking my lipstick, but the color, is so vivid and so bold and bright as a red lipstick and it's so flattering that I kind of didn't mind because I was like oh my god this color is so flattering so you kind of win some and lose some with this formulation comfort is there the pigmentation is there but you'll have transfer issues. Overall, this is one that I would actually highly recommend and I think the price point is worth it even though you're not getting a ton of product. I think for red lipstick, this is far more than you would need and I don't see you running out of this anyway because it is so pigmented. So even though you don't get as much product, you get the power packed into just a little drop of this so it's definitely worth the purchase. And that's it, those are my thoughts on the new lip launches from Rihanna. I was looking forward to more 
are matte type products and she definitely sold it to me here she won me over with her formulation and I think she did such a great job so let me know what you guys think let me know if you picked up any of the shades what you think of the formula and what do you think about her shade selection I think it's unique it's different from anything else that we've seen on the market and I think it's uniquely Rihanna and I appreciate her for that because she's bringing something different to the market she's actually waking up a lot of these brands they're like oh crap we have new competition on the market that's killing it so hopefully there's gonna be some improvements across the board from all these different brands now that they see a brand come out new brand and it is really taken off so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as usual i've leave links on where you can pick these up and yeah i will also leave links to my instagram and twitter page where you can follow me along and until my next video which will be very soon i'll talk to you bye guys